Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah, this is Nick, and with our two little dogs, we're usually traveling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries, but recently we've had a lot of issues with the van. So we've come to a big decision that it's time to get a new one. After several weeks of struggling to find anything suitable in the local area, we got an incredible offer. This means we're now backpacking with our dogs 3,000 kilometers to Berlin to collect our new home on wheels. After leaving southern Andalusia, we've driven the entire length of Spain before crossing the border into France to continue our journey by train. We've managed to soak up some culture along the way and now we're in Germany where you'll be joining us today. We're in Berlin. just dropped our hire car off that we drove across Germany in and jumped on a train and we're heading to our accommodation. Bit of a kerfuffle <laughs> getting the tickets but all good in the end. All good in the end. Had to double check that we were on the right train like three times and uh, yeah, happy to be here. We made it guys, we are in Berlin and it's so good and exciting to be here after that long journey and uh, yeah, we will soon be collecting our new home on wheels. Yes! Can't yes. wait, uh, absolutely can't wait, we're kind of like ecstatic, mm. uh, you could say. Um, yeah, so this is our little, our little hotel room that we've been in for a few nights. This is what you get for 77 euros in Berlin. It's pretty basic. Um, but it's, it's quirky. quirky. Very quirky. It's called the Arts Hotel. It's in Charlottenburg, which is like a nice area, one of the suburbs. So it's just on the outskirts of the center. And it's very quirky. You've got loads of artwork on the walls. You've got, yeah, like, a, it's like modern and pop art, modern art sort of gallery, isn't it? Yeah, it's, cool. it's really cool. And it's got a desk, a good desk that we can both sit on and work with our laptops. It's got a really comfortable bed mm. and it's got a damn good shower. So what else do we need? And it's got coffee making facilities. It's got a kettle in like a shared sort of lounge area. Yeah. So we've been able to have our caffeine fix in the morning. Yeah. And the best part about it is, as Nick said, it's in Charlotte, Charlottenburg and the the, the S-Bahn, the train is right across the road. Like it mm. couldn't be better location to be able to get onto the public transport in Berlin. It's one of the main hubs so you can get trains to everywhere. So we dropped the hire car off in Spandau, got on a train, a couple of stops arrived here and that's it. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, we have been here a couple of days already. We've just been getting on with things. We've met the lovely Frank and Emily who are giving us the van. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, so, they're such, such lovely, nice lovely couple, people, amazing. honestly. And uh, you guys will meet them tomorrow. We just got chatting, we got on really well and we just got chatting away and it's always a bit awkward as well. So yeah. we'll introduce you when we go and pick up the van. When we go and pick up the van tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it's all, it's it's all happening guys, it's all very exciting and uh, we're going to head into the city now and uh, yeah, show you a little bit of Berlin. Let's go. Let's go. So look at that, the sun has come out for us. It's been very off and on the weather since we've been in Germany and Berlin. Really stormy, torrential rain and then the sun comes out. Yeah, so we can wear our sunglasses at the moment. Cool. <laughs> Berlin is very well connected by underground, overground trains, trams, buses, all that sort of thing. There's a number of different tickets you can get. You can get a, a single short trip ticket, which is up to three stops. You can get a long trip ticket, um, which is like 2.20, 3.20. We've been getting the, the day pass, which is like 24 hours and you can use all transport. So buses, trams, trains, everything. And that lasts for 24 hours, that's only 9.50, so oh, absolute no. bargain. Sorry, but it's reduced today, look. It's only six euros for a 24 hour ticket reduced today. I don't know bargain. why. Bargain. We're just debating whether we should get one journey in, one journey out. And um, yeah. Result, yeah, really good. How good is that? So if you're in Berlin, if you're going to get more than two long journeys, you might as well go Which today. you are going to, let's face it, mm. yeah. You know. Especially if you get lost and get on the wrong train and then off the wrong train after swatch. We had a nightmare yesterday. We, we've already been into Berlin, into the city, 
um, and it didn't go quite as planned. But um, <laughs> it was good fun, but we did uh, take a little while to figure out the train system. Well, we didn't figure them out. Let's face it, we just got lost all day. But it was good fun. <laughs> Such a cool building, it's the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church and it was an original church built in the 1890s and then heavily bombed and damaged by the war so it's just kind of the ruins left half a church but it's quite crazy settings it's in just in a, in the middle of this like busy part of the city with all these sort of well a few skyscrapers dotted around and then just this random ruin of a church it's really cool isn't it as we mentioned berlin is really well connected you've got all these different methods of transport that you can get around the sea but it does take a bit of getting used to there is a really handy app so you can put in where you want to go to where you are and it sort of guides you through the best forms go on a bus walk in underground but um still very confusing for us you know that's the gelby app that is the app for all transport in berlin that's what you want to get if you come here and not only can you get the buses and all that jazz you can also jump on electric scooters, electric bikes, and floating cars as they're referred to. So you can just get in one of these random cars and just drive in it, charge you per kilometre. It's so brilliant, cool. it's incredible. <laughs> Just arrived in Potsdamer Platz, which is like the main city centre or the second city centre. There's kind of a centre on the west and the east side of the river. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of the west side. A few skyscrapers around, very nice, very fresh, yes. very edgy Berlin is. We actually visited the city centre Ale Alexander Platz on the east side yesterday. And um, can you notice any differences? There's a big square there. I'm not sure whether we found the main area here. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's just huge Berlin, is it's so so big, isn't it? It's so much to see here. Talk about having the corner office. Berlin feels very industrial to me. They've got like lots of metalwork. Like the skyscrapers, the blend of like the glass and look at that building behind me, it's just, yeah. So we're just swapping the hustle and bustle of the city centre behind and we're heading into the park, one of the famous parks in Berlin, Tiergarten, if I've said that correctly. It's a huge, huge green area that runs from basically where we are in Charlottenburg to take you up to the Brandenburg Gate, a huge green area. There's a memorial there, war memorial. And um, yeah, just a nice little escape from the hustle and bustle. Yeah, it's really peaceful and very naturey, isn't yeah. it, in here? Right. And we're speaking to Frank and Emily. They've been living here for a few years. And I think Frank said there's a lot of green areas in Berlin within the sort of city centre. And a lot of the green areas you see on the maps when it's a long sort of strip of green, of nature, it's where the wall used to be. So where the wall sort of sat and then either side was like no man's land or 
Death Alley, I don't know what they, they called it, but the, yeah, the long stretches of greenery are where the, the wall used to be. He was picking up Dizzy's little present. <laughs> Good, good boy to, though, he waited until he got. They, they both pooped, they've waited until we left the city and come into the, the green area, the garden if you like, to do their poop here rather than the street. I think well trained now aren't they? Well trained, well -trained city, city travellers. <laughs> So as Nick just mentioned, the, the wall, the Berlin Wall, um, it's a must-see um, in, in Berlin when you come to visit and there is a section of it, the longest section that's still remaining is, I think it's a kilometre and a half and, uh, and yeah, we went to go and see it yesterday. So we'll take you back there now. crazy visiting the Berlin Wall. It happened in our lifetime didn't it? I remember when I was a kid the tearing down of the Berlin Wall but it's unbelievable to think that it stood for so long and just separated the city like the country. The capital city was just separated by this huge wall and yeah it was and, quite a sort of surreal experience yesterday wasn't it? Walk, yeah. Doing that walk along there and all the artwork. Yeah. There are little sort of QR codes so you can scan that into your phone and get a bit of information about every piece, every painting on the wall. Yeah, and about the artist who's uh, done it and where they've come from. And, and the like meaning that. behind it and all that. Yeah, yeah definitely a must-see if you visit this incredible city. Squirrels now, aren't they? Sarah just mentioned squirrels, and that's it. They know the word for squirrels, so now they're both. <gasps> where? Where? <laughs> Quite cool though. Massive green area. So yeah, in the hot days in the summer or something, you can just escape all the traffic and stuff and just have a picnic here or take some shelter under a tree. I think at the far end, away from the city, there's lots of waterways, but we won't be able to go and see that, unfortunately. Not today. Never say we're never. We're having a bit of a more relaxed city tour today yeah. after yesterday. <laughs> it's hectic, we're rushing around, getting on loads of trains and stuff, lots of walking, getting lost. The dogs, they start the, start the day by loving the trains, very excited, and then by the end of the day they're over it. Exhausted, aren't they? But they're doing really well. Today they're a bit like, oh really, are we going back into the city? But once they're out and about, they enjoy themselves. So we're back in the busy part. You leave the park, the beautiful Tiergarten Park, and then all of a sudden you buy Brandenburg Gate, the epic gate, where there's loads and loads of people taking photographs and, and all that touristy stuff. It's definitely a highlight. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's just immense. Mm. From here, you look down a main strip to where we were yesterday, which is the east, east sort of city centre and the famous tower that you can actually go up to get incredible views of the city. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go and get a Starbucks. The reason we're going for a Starbucks is because, believe it or not, this may sound crazy, but I have never had a Starbucks. I've never had one. It seems to be the thing to do. Everyone says, oh, let's go for a Starbucks. We've never know. had one, so we're going to try one. That'd be good. Right, we're scrapping the Starbucks, so that's something to still try at some point, but it's like five quid for an Americano and there's a massive queue. Unless you can have something fancy, I don't think it's worth paying five quid for an Americano. I don't want anything fancy, I just want a black coffee. Like I, a I strawberry want... frapperino with glazed marshmallow bits and all that. Yeah. <laughs> just give me an Americano, that's it. So we went for Dunkin' instead. Dunkin' Donuts. Without the donut, should we go and sit over by the main, yeah, the main gate? Forgot bold 
didn't we? Took it out yesterday, thought we were heroes. Today we forget it and it's, it just doesn't work, the hands. The old hands gaps, isn't there? I've used my coffee lid. Do you want some more, Charlie? Hold on, what about this? We are on a bit of a mission to find somewhere to stop and eat. This little tour that Nick's um, in control of oh, today. Here we go, here we go. Isn't as good as my little tour <laughs> yesterday. But to be fair, we are filming today. We I don't know whether really... you did the tour yesterday anyway. <laughs> yesterday was quite easy because it rained a lot. So um, we just basically had to go with the weather. And uh, we did actually spend quite a bit of time in the east side of the river over the Obam. Obama. She's forgotten it, isn't she? We'll put the name up here over this epic bridge. I don't know whether it's famous or not, but it, it looks pretty epic for photographs and things. We spent a lot of time over there and we found a really cool little area where there was loads of like, um, like a fusion of cultures. There was like Indian food, loads of Lebanese, loads of kebabs, loads of... Um, Asian, we had a... Uh... We ended up stopping at the Vietnamese restaurant. So when it's absolutely tipping it down, what are you going to do? You're just going to hide away from the rain and eat. And I've got a um, plant-based noodle special soupy thing full of lemongrass and coriander. And Nick's got the famous Vietnamese poo bowl. Well, we used to have this so much when we were over in Vietnam. And you can just smell it smells of Asia, the aromas of Asia, I love it. So, lovely uh, Vietnamese soup, but crazy weather. Like, we literally can't leave the restaurant at the moment. It's, it's raining too much. I mean, we can't even go, like, you know, the 100 meters or whatever it is to the nearest train station. And there's no way the dogs are going to do it, let's face it. <laughs> They're just hiding under the table. I think we better just get another beer. Yeah. That was just by chance, actually, because we just needed to shelter from the rain. It was tipping it down. So we thought we'll just stop undercover, have a quick beer. And ended up at <laughs> Miss Saigon, it was called. Um, and it's really, really nice Vietnamese food. Lovely, actually, wasn't really, it? Really, really, really nice. good. Ooh, I'm craving it again now. I'm getting hungry now. I'm getting hungry. But where we are now is rubbish. There's no <laughs> restaurants whatsoever. We got lost in that little area yesterday with tons of choices here. It's just big buildings and uh, big this is cool over streets. Here. Oh, it's like, is that the cathedral? I think this is Berlin Cathedral, which is beautiful. But if you're hungry, of that building behind us. So this is the Berlin Cathedral and it's absolutely amazing. It has to be like the most iconic building in Berlin, I would say. And especially because you've got this lovely grassy area where everyone's just chilling out and just enjoying the view. And it's like one of those things that you just stare at, isn't it? Mm. It's amazing. It dates back to the 15th century and it's like a mix of styles like Gothic, Baroque, Renaissance over the years. It's been added to, I believe it's damaged in the war. So yeah, it's an amalgamation. Ooh. Amalgamation, that's a big word, darling. <laughs> if that's the right word, or a fusion I've of different I've never heard of styles. that word. <laughs> And where that came from but yeah it's pretty epic and it's quite nice as a musician playing over there lots of people just sat out on this sort of big grassy area it's on the museum island i think there's lots of museums around here and um this is the place to be. This is the place to be and you can actually go up there and I think it's like seven euros. We can't go up there obviously because we've got the doggies. But um, yeah, you can see little people moving around. It's really cool. I think they're normal sized people but they're just in the distance. Yeah, I don't think they're actually <laughs> little people. <are> <laughs> Those little people around again. Yeah, really nice place to chill out. The boys are enjoying taking the weight off their feet and sitting on the grass, rolling around in the yeah, grass. And I'm really glad that we saved this for today because yesterday it was it wouldn't Miserable, have been the same, yeah. it was too rainy, too nasty. And today obviously we've got some sunshine, it's just a really nice atmosphere down here. Mm. Uh, 
there is just so much to see in this city. You can spend a week here and still not get bored. I don't even know what this building is. It's like some sort of museum or something, but it just goes on and on. our food today an Egyptian restaurant that's interesting isn't it it's just like just off the main area near the cathedral so we'll see how it is and of course we have to have a nice big beer so the food's taking slightly longer than expected I've had about eight pecans and a coffee today that's it I haven't eaten anything and then I've just drank that much beer Obviously feeling slightly tipsy, drinking on an empty stomach and all that. So, you know, just putting it out there, if I seem drunk <laughs> from now on in the vlog, it's really not my fault. It's because the food is taking longer than expected. Not a complaint. Pinch one of Nick's that, that's chips. one of my chips. That's, that's one of mine. This is one of Nick's chips. How is that chip? Is it good chip? Very good. You can have some of my bread. What are you ordered? So I've got the Egyp Egyptian Egyptian style falafels, which uh, look nice, never had before. And Nick went for a wrap, some sort of sheesh wrap, slightly spicy wrap. Thank you. Yeah, some sort of sheesh sheesh. Um, um, Egyptian wrap with good chips. One more. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I eat your chips, have your food, and shut up before you say something you shouldn't. Hello, guys. Welcome to the Egyptian restaurant. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, can see this but we're just walking along the riverside always a place to be along the riverside there's always a nice chilled out vibe like musicians playing um why about this little place there's loads of couples dancing they seem to be dancing to different music they've all got these special little routines there's one girl with headphones on just just going for it belly out headphones on i think she's dancing to something different to the rest of them and the yeah. thing is the music is so quiet so I think it's just like use your imagination and yeah, dance to the music in your head. It's like a silent disco but with um, really With your imagination and everyone dancing. Interesting, but everyone's enjoying themselves aren't they? There's no, you know, no nastiness, everyone's just getting on with it, having a little dance by the river. So much going on in the, mm. in the city. It's great for people watching, it's isn't so it? Cool. We found the little area around here where there's loads of food options. Loads and loads of food options, all the kebab houses, loads of bars, loads of restaurants. You know, it's like the sliding door things. Do you turn left or do you turn right? We're supposed to be going back to the hotel, but we're kind of just, you know, in awe walking around. There's so much to see and you just, so we're just taking our time in going back to the hotel. Should we get one more beer and just Should soak up the more? atmosphere? The thing is, we've got a big day tomorrow because we're getting the van. It's back to van life tomorrow, guys. Oh, the moment that we've all been waiting for. Maybe we should just have one more beer to celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this area. I know, that's another area. So we are on our way back now, guys. I, I will just say that we are coming back to Berlin. In fact, the van has a permit so it can park in the south of the city. Um, so we will be coming back in the van. And if any of you guys are going, oh, they didn't see this or they didn't see that um, whilst visiting the city, please leave us any uh, comments, uh, recommendations for Berlin in the comments. So when we come back, we don't miss, you know, anything that we might have missed this today and yesterday. Way, yeah, we get to go on another train if we're going the wrong way. Sad, darling. Just 
feel like out. you should be staying out. Could have stayed out all night. Sad, isn't it? It's not sad. We'll be back, we'll be back. But yeah, it's, uh, it's Friday night. It's sad to be going back to the apartment. We've got stuff to do. We've got to be heading off early tomorrow. So until next time, Berlin. Final checkout, hopefully. There you go. It's the day we've all been waiting for, guys. We are going back to van life. Can't talk for long because we are running late, as usual. Um, the train leaves in about 10 minutes, and we need to be on it to go to um, go meet the guys. They're meeting us at the train station in Velton. Can't believe it. The day has finally arrived. Where are you going? So typical things don't go to plan. We're just about to get on the train to go and meet the guys and it's cancelled. The only one on the board is cancelled. Yeah, it was basically a train from here to the suburb of Velton where the train has been in, where the train, where the van has been um, kept in storage. And uh, yeah, just one train. It's the only one we can get. There's only one an hour and it's cancelled. Typical. So now we've got to go all over the city to get up to somewhere close by where we should be able to catch a bus. But we've got our little day saver, so at least we can get some of the journey on that. We yeah. don't have to buy it. We've got a ticket, ticket already to get used in, in the city, so yeah, we get to use the cool little train network all over the place again one last time before we uh, go back to the back, go to the, get to the back. navigating the Berlin train system now. I'm getting really good, aren't I? Mm -hmm. This little app's so handy though. Yeah, it uh... just tells you exactly what trains to get on. The Jelby app, I think we mentioned it yesterday. A must have if you come to Berlin, guys. Put in your destination where you want to go to and it sort of plots out the route, says you got to walk so far, get a bus, get a train, whatever. Yeah. Very, perfect. very handy. That train. Dogs don't like the underground, do they? <laughs> so guys, um, yep, yeah, we're just waiting for a bus now. Hopefully it's the right one. The last leg of the journey to go and meet the guys and pick up the van. We're a bit late, but what can you do is just to... Uh train was cancelled so we have to do trains trains buses buses mm. so yeah um but we are going to end the vlog now sorry about sorry that. sorry guys i, I know just, <laughs> it's because we want to save the whole big reveal and the whole van and showing you guys that for next week's vlog when we've got more time in the vlog because this one's probably gone on and yeah so you'll have to wait until next One Thursday. more. well four days that's it that's it yeah so um, i hope you've enjoyed this these crazy Vlogs getting up to Berlin, backpacking, different sort of vlog than you used to. Back but to van life back next van life. week's in next week's vlog, a whole new van, a whole new chapter, and a whole load of excitement. Crazy. So yeah. What a journey. We'll see you <laughs> next week. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss the big reveal. And if you follow us on Patreon, you would have already seen the van yeah. by now. But well, not the actual van. You'll know what's going on. I think, I don't know, we're so confused. I don't confused. know, it's what's confusing. All right, guys, see anyway, you next week. Take care, see you next week. Ew, busy. <laughs>